Hey guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is a review of three quite popular, but also quite different paint sealants, including Meguiar's 21 Synthetic Sealant 2.0, Jezcar Powerlock Plus, and Polish Angel High Gloss. Many of you guys have asked for a video comparing older and newer sealants, as well as cheaper and expensive ones, so we thought this might be an interesting video to compare quite an old school and affordable paint sealant like M21 to something more new school like Powerlock Plus and then to something quite crazy expensive like High Gloss to see how they differ in areas such as the user experience, looks, feel, hydrophobic behaviour and potential durability. These are also three paint sealants that you guys have repeatedly asked me to review and I did spend quite a bit of time and put in quite a bit of work to make this review so I really hope you enjoy it. I'll lastly add here that I do have the newer Jeskar Ultralock coming. It's just taking forever for it to arrive as the brand's not sold here locally, but I'll hopefully have a future video testing it out. So first up, while I'm applying these sealants to a couple of test panels that have been fully decontaminated, compounded and given an IPA wipe down, I'm going to start by discussing and rating the user experience. I'll also quickly add here that because both the Meguiar's and Jezcar sealants require long sitting times before wiping them down, I'll be jumping from one sealant and panel to another while they're flashing and bonding to the paint, which I hope the editing isn't too confusing. So starting with Meguiar's Synthetic Sealant 21 2.0. This is really such a beautifully easy and forgiving sealant to apply and wipe down in almost any situation. It spreads into the paint with extreme ease and I'll even say better and easier than most waxes because even if you do apply a little too much or too little, it still tends to work great and not cause any issues that you may have with many other sealants. So in that respect, it's actually one of the best sealants for a first time user as it's hard to have a bad or difficult user experience with it. In the lead up to making this video, I also did test all three sealants out in direct sunlight applications and M21 was clearly the easiest to use in those conditions. Obviously it wasn't quite as easy and you don't want to let it sit in direct sunlight for quite as long, but I was still surprised at how decent the application was in that environment. Now the only real con about its application is that it does need to sit on the paint for at least 20 minutes on average. But I can also tell you that out of direct sunlight, you could probably leave it on for hours and still have a great user experience. Next up is Jeskar Powerlock Plus. Honestly guys, almost everything I just said about M21 can also be said about Powerlock Plus. It's actually also really nice to work with, quite easy and forgiving and its flash and curing times are also just about identical. I guess while applying these sealants side by side at the same time over and over, I did notice the power lock was maybe just a little more work to lay down and evenly wipe off. But if I wasn't using them side by side, I probably struggled to see those differences. One other thing I did notice was that power lock plus wasn't quite as forgiving in direct sunlight. And if I did apply a little too much, it did become harder to work with compared to M21. But when used more correctly and out of direct sunlight, these differences were barely noticeable. Last but not least is Polish Angel High Gloss. Now as you can see, this sealant has a very different new school wipe on and immediately wipe off application and you can either spray it directly on your cloth or straight onto the panel. And unlike the others, it requires no bonding time as it immediately flashes and bonds to the paint which also makes it super quick and efficient to work with. But in saying that, it's kind of grippy to spread into the panel and does also have a little friction during the wipe off, which I can't say is the case for the other two sealants here. It's also important to mention that this is definitely not a sealant you want to be using in direct sunlight, as it will tend to instantly streak if applied on a hot panel, whereas the other two sealants have a bit more forgiveness in that area. But in saying that, it's still a relatively nice spray sealant to work with as long as you don't apply too much and don't overly work large areas. So a good method and technique is more so important with high gloss compared to the other two that have a little more forgiveness if your technique or environment isn't optimal. 
So all in all, as far as being the most forgiving, enjoyable and adaptable application, Meguiar's M21 was a clear winner here, with power lock being a close second. And although the speedy application and fast curing characteristics of high gloss make it a very appealing and sensible choice in a professional environment, it's just not quite as nice and forgiving to work with, especially for a newcomer. After the panels were allowed to cure over the weekend, the next test was evaluating their ability to enhance the look of automotive paint. Now as you guys have a look at the results, I'll start by saying that in my opinion, there's really not all that much in it from one sealant to another, and I personally think that they all look great. Compared to the unsealed paint, they've all done quite a good job at filling in at least a portion of the compounding swells, darkening the paint and boosting gloss levels quite well across the board. However, I would say that overall Power Lock Plus didn't look quite as good as the other two, but again, this was just a very slight difference. I almost think that Meguiar's M21 had the most darkening effect, while high gloss had a bit more filling abilities and potentially a touch more reflective gloss. But honestly guys, I had to keep going back and forth trying to spot these variations as they just weren't obvious or dramatic differences. If someone had asked me before making this review which one of these sealants potentially looks the best, I think I'd quite confidently say high gloss, as I know from past use that it's a fantastic looking sealant. So it was actually really surprising to me that both M21 and Powerlock Plus almost looked just as good, which certainly wasn't something I was expecting. But that's just another reason I like doing these tests because sometimes my preconceived ideas are completely wrong. Now just to add a little more hopefully useful information, I did take some readings with my Rowpoint IQ meter, firstly measuring the unsealed paint and then the individual sealants. I'll put up the average 20 and 60 degree gloss reading angles for each section on the screen, but you guys can obviously pause the video if you want all the stats. Now as with every single test, it's just one additional piece of information, but what you'll hopefully see is that although all three sealants did significantly improve the gloss levels over the bare paint, there was very little separating all three sealants from one section to another. Meguiar's M21 did have the highest average readings, very closely followed by High Gloss, which was then very closely followed by Powerlock Plus in third place. With just two gloss units separating first from second and second from third, it's almost within the margin of error, and I guess just confirms how closely matched all three are in that area. So my conclusions here, I don't think looks are enough of a factor to choose one over the other, and I personally think they all look great. The next test was assessing the slickness or lack of friction that each of these sealants creates on automotive paint. Now unlike the last test, the results here were a lot more obvious and clear. Meguiar's M21 was easily the slickest sealant out of all three, and I'd actually say quite slick in not only the reduced friction it created with my old ceramic coating bottle, but also by the way it felt, which was rather nice and silky. Powerlock Plus was also quite clearly in second place, being just a step behind M21 and also rather nice and silky to the touch in its own way. Polish Angel High Gloss, on the other hand, is not what I'd describe as an overly slick or silky feeling sealant. Now it does definitely feel slick compared to the bare paint, but I personally say that it's more along the lines of a ceramic coating in relation to its slickness, which is still nice but not on the same level as your typical slick paint sealant. So onto some water behaviour testing to evaluate the hydrophobic performance of these three paint sealants. Now as you guys continue to watch me introduce various amounts of water with various spray patterns to assess the hydrophobic behaviour of these sealants, what you'll hopefully see is that there's two sealants here that have what I consider to be reasonable or average hydrophobic characteristics and one sealant here that actually has quite impressive water behaviour. 
In my experience and opinion, based on all the hydrophobic testing with these three sealants, I really don't think there's a significant difference between both Meguiar's M21 and Jess Car Powerlock Plus. They both sheet the water at similar rates, though I'd still say M21 is a fraction quicker. And they both tend to display very comparable water bead contact angles, but once again I'd say that M21's water bead contact angles are just a touch more pronounced. But in any case, as far as water behaviour goes between these two, it's very, very close and honestly pretty standard and what you'd expect from an old school paint sealant. Now in complete contrast, Polish Angel High Gloss is just on a different level here, with super quick water sheeting rates and just beautifully round and pronounced water bead contact angles and shapes, making it quite impressive as far as hydrophobic performance is concerned. Now high gloss is by no means a new spray sealant as it has been around for a while, but its superior water behaviour is definitely in line with newer spray sealants or coatings that have entered the market in more recent years. Sister, my sister do you feel something yet? We're a little plenty Bowing down nonetheless My brother and dear brother Hold fast in the midst All is working against you But you've got confidence It's the taste on my tongue It's the tang in my mouth Double down on the cause Little room for the doubt It's the body of bread It's the blood and the wine We were once a righteous few Look deep and spit the truth What have we become? The last test here was evaluating the chemical resistance of these sealants, which should give us a little insight to the environmental resistance and potential durability. For this I used CarPro Multi-X at a 1 to 5 dilution ratio, firstly just lightly hitting the panel with the chemical and then getting more and more aggressive with each subsequent application. Now as you guys continue to watch the footage, what you will hopefully see is that both Meguiar's M21 and Jess Car Powerlock Plus almost immediately began to break down, even after just the very first light chemical hit. I will say that Meguiar's did initially resist the chemical a little better than Powerlock Plus, but after a couple more hits with the chemical, they were dead even, and based on all the chemical tests I did between them, they seemed to be almost equally matched every time, but honestly a little disappointing overall in that area. Now in complete contrast, Polish Angel High Gloss didn't show any signs of deterioration until the third or fourth chemical hit, at which point it did start to lose a portion of its hydrophobic performance. But as you'll hopefully see, it was still hanging in there right up until the end. I guess what I'd say based on my testing here is that High Gloss could certainly last the brand's 6-7 to seven months durability claim as it certainly seemed to resist breaking down very well and also based on this testing I would expect it to last at least 2-3 to three times longer than both M21 and Powerlock.
Now while you guys have a look at the hydrophobic and chemical testing on the second red panel, in which you should see a fairly similar result, I'm just going to sum up this video with my own personal conclusions and opinions. So starting with Maguire's Synthetic Sealant 21 2.0, I do think it's important to place it in a contextual setting in that it first came out some odd 20 years ago and the current 2.0 version is still a good 15 years old. So what we're really talking about here is OG territory as far as paint sealants go. And in that setting, placing it up against a predominantly natural car wax market, it really was an innovative sealant that would have had superior hydrophobic behavior, increased slickness, and even better durability than most car waxes of that period, not to mention a super easy application and a very affordable price tag. But fast forward a couple of decades, and the thing is that it still holds up and performs really well in many areas, which has to be a great testament to Maguire's development and formulation of M21 at a time where car sealants was still quite a new thing. I really love the user experience of this sealant, the way it looks, the way it feels, which even by today's standards is very impressive. Its water behavior, although not too bad, is a little behind the curve in today's market, as is its durability. But the same could be said for many new car sealants today. In Australia, most good detailing products are expensive, so M21 isn't exactly cheap or even easy to find here locally. But it's still one of the cheapest sealants around, and if ease of application, looks, feel, and value is at the top of your list, I'd say it's still one of the best sealants around today. I'll be honest in saying that I have some mixed feelings when it comes to Jescar Powerlock Plus. On the one hand, it's rather nice to work with and apply, looks and feels really good, and its hydrophobic behavior and chemical resistance is, I guess, reasonable. In many ways, if not almost every way, it was just so, so close to M21 in just about every area of testing but also just a half step behind overall. I'd also say that if for some reason M21 stopped production, most users could jump to Powerlock Plus and have a rather similar experience and outcome. But here's the thing, while M21 is a couple of decades old, Powerlock Plus was just released only two or three years ago. And it's honestly a little disappointing that two decades of technological advancements in such a fast-moving detailing market hasn't really resulted in a higher performing sealant from the brand. Like I said, I do still like it, but also taking into consideration that it's more expensive and perhaps not quite as good as M21, it's just a little hard to like it as much. But maybe just car ultra lock which I'm hoping to try out in the not too distant future, will be a redeeming sealant for the brand by today's expectations and standards. Polish Angel High Gloss hasn't been around anywhere near as long as Maguire's M21, but it's still much older than Powerlock Plus, maybe entering the market about six or seven years ago. But it still performs and behaves like a car sealant that could have been released yesterday. Now as far as looks go, I didn't think there was much in it from one seal in here to another. And I also think that that's more about how surprisingly good M21 and Powerlock Plus looked, rather than high gloss not looking fantastic, which it does. High gloss also certainly doesn't have that nice, super slick feel, or that super forgiving application experience, but rather trades it for a super fast application and curing result. But when it comes to hydrophobic performance and chemical resistance, it simply just blew the competition away. I think the real elephant in the room here that needs addressing is the crazy expensive price tag of high gloss that'll buy you four bottles of M21 and about two and a half bottles of Powerlock Plus for the same price, or at least here locally. So is high gloss worth that extra coin? Probably not and not today with so many fantastic spray sealants to choose from. But six or seven years ago, it was certainly a far more unique sealant ahead of its time, which is also why it still feels and performs so well. I bust my behind making these videos because I genuinely want to provide as much useful information as possible so that you guys can make a well-informed decision on your own when it comes to spending your hard-earned money. 
If you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad, which I'll have a link to in the description box. And thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share it, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.